you know, this is kind of heavy. Mm, mm, mm. People never give up. No, no. Never give up. You can never give up. No, no, no. Don't give up. You know, I feel you. I feel real bad with this article right here. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. This is a crazy story. And um, I'm I'm just hoping she gets through this because this is um, pretty devastating for you to be put out as an example. Basically, you're a political prisoner. You in, you in the crossfire of something that you had absolutely nothing to do with. Um, but you are an American and um, a black American at that. So anytime you can see situations where your counterpart may have been caught with two times, three times more marijuana than you ever was caught with, you had some oil, some vape. And you being treated like this is really a travesty. It is so much going on in the world. Um, it's like I don't want to forget about you and I don't want Americans to forget about you. Because how would you feel that this was you or one of your loved ones? You know, uh, this it's just uncalled for and it's not right. It's not. to be. I don't care. These people used her every year when she went over to Russia. They've been though she was vaping. I think this is the first time they probably found something, uh, saw it in her luggage. She'd go and play there every year, bring them championship. Brittany Griner's wife revealed that the NBA star is at her absolute weakest moment as she remains in a Russian prison waiting her appeal hearing on drug charges. She also says she don't know if she has anything left enough to continue to wake up. Come on, Brittany, you got to fight. You can't give up. You cannot give up, Brittany. And I know it looks dark, but you got to keep going. And if anybody can get this video to her, I would love for her to know that we still root. We're still praying for you. And I don't care what anybody says. You deserve to be here. You deserve. You don't deserve what's going on. You don't deserve to be in the middle of that. But you got to do your part. You got to hang on. You got to hang in there. And we have to put more pressure on... The judicial system to see that she can get returned home to her family. How long has she been in jail now? About seven months, six or seven months. In prison, WNBA star Brittany Griner is at her absolute weakest moment in life. Mm -hmm. And she, and she awaits her drug charges appeal. Her wife told CBS Morning, I don't know if she has anything left in her tank to continue to wake up every day and be in a place where she has no one, Sherelle Griner said. <sighs> Brittany, a WNBA All-Star and Olympic gold medalist who has played professionally in Russia, was arrested in February at a Moscow airport where police say they found hash oil in vape cartridges. Although Brittany has claimed she used cannabis for pain, the Russian legal system was unmoved. And she was ultimately sentenced to nine out of possible ten years 
What the hell? Did this this come on y'all? Come on. Come on. I do believe a crime should warrant a punishment should real remark. But it must be balanced. I mean, she's already suffered beyond her crime already. Adding to Sherelle's grief is the prospect of labor camp if Brittany's appeal is denied. Once that hearing is held and the order is finalized, BG's now in the position where she could be moved to a labor camp. My brain can't even fathom that. The situation is obviously complicated by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which has left Britney feel like a political pawn, and you should. She's like saying things to me like, my life just don't even matter no more. You know, I feel like my life doesn't matter at all. Like I'm just being tossed around like for people's enjoyment and gain. Those are all valid emotions to feel, and I don't have answers for them, except the fact that your life matters to me, and I want to get you back home, Sherelle said. I'm going to continue to pray every day that you know the people that are in the decision make, uh, makers in this situation will have mercy and will sit down, and they will, too, see that your life matters and do whatever they can do to agree on terms. Griner has only spoken with her wife twice since being in there since last February, and the latter of the two calls left the partner disturbed and crying for days. That exchange was in stark contrast to a previous call where Sherelle says Brittany was more upbeat. She said, I think I cried for about two, three days straight. She told Gail King, it was the most disturbing phone call I ever experienced. I think I cried for uh, for about two, three days, night straight. I just, the most still, I think, the moment I've ever shared with my wife. She continued, I didn't have words. Sherelle remains hopeful that political tensions could lead to a prisoner swap and that Brittany is allowed to return to the United States. Recently, Sherelle was assured at the White House, was reassured at the White House meeting that President Joe Biden is still pushing for a solution. He's doing what he can, but there's another party in the situation. And we are also dealing with the need for Russia to have mercy on Britney as well. I'm terrified I might be there here forever, she wrote. I realize you are dealing with so much, but please don't forget about me and the other American detainees. Please do all you can to bring us home. And that's the handwritten letter Biden, I mean, Britney sent to Biden. There have been previous prisoner swaps between Russia and U.S. The former U.S. Marine Trevor Reed was just released by Russia in an April in an April prisoner swap after being convicted of assault in 2020. He was meant to serve a nine-year prison sentence. I'm going to give credit where credit is due, but I feel as if the administration is putting a lot of manpower into ways to get BG home through negotiations, Sherelle said in July. Because it's not as simple as one may think of looking at the list of people we have and asking Russia to choose. Damn. It's more complex than that. And they are exhausting a lot of effort. The U.S. government previously offered Russia a prisoner exchange involving Griner and Paul Whelan, who was serving a 16-year prison sentence for espionage <coughs> for Victor Bout, a, a Russian arms dealer, serving a 16-year prison sentence. Subsequent reports say that the White House has not received an offer for that a 
response for that offer. We praying for you, Brittany. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. And don't give up. Because she is a hostage. At this point, you have to look at it just like that. Anyway. I, I, I hope this comes to an end soon. Um. And let's pray for Brittany Griner. Those of y'all who feel it, shout out. Those who have mixed emotions, <coughs> you're entitled. You, you're entitled to your uh, opinion as well. Just don't think you're gonna do the owner and then leave it on my page. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video. Damn.